Hi folks, co-tutor here and my name is Anil Deshpande. Welcome to the another video on lambdas. In the previous video, while passing, I just mentioned that the last statement of the lambda cannot be a return statement like you see in a function. That is, if you see here, the last statement doesn't have the return. It is understood that whatever the expression that you have at the last line of the lambda implementation, that is what the lambda is returning. So basically, the last expression of the lambda should match the return type of the lambda. And that is why the expression is evaluating to a string, which is the return type of the lambda. But this begs a question about what if there are multiple returns from within the lambda well what do i mean by that let's assume that i have this function called as age description which basically takes a integer as the parameter which is an age and then depending upon the value of age it returns whether it is a child teenager adult or a senior citizen you can see that there are multiple returns within the function now how do i implement this using a lambda and that is what we will see in a demo now so this is the function what i will now do is create a lambda called age description and i will have to write a lambda so it takes a integer and returns string and then that is age which is of type int and then let's see can i just copy paste this and as expected there is a compilation error here and what is the compilation error return is not allowed here so you cannot have return and you cannot have multiple returns in a lambda now how do we solve this well you can solve it using a special mechanism i will show you that you can write something like description this can be anything and then use a at this is called as named lambda return and then you can use return at description teenage at description child at description adult and at description senior citizen and that solves the problem of multiple returns in a lambda now if i just write a statement here print ln and invoke lambda age description and pass a value what do I pass say 20 and run it it gives me adult and if I say 10 it gives me child I believe yes so that's how you solve the problem one more thing that I want to discuss before we end this particular video is what if I want to ignore some of the parameters that I might be passing to the lambda what do I mean by that you can observe here we have a sample lambda here which takes three string parameters and returns nothing and it basically prints l name f name and m name so let me just print this it basically prints deshpande comma last name then first name and then the middle name it just basically rearranges the names and prints it but let's assume that later point in time you may decide to ignore the middle name that is you just want to print just last name and first name you don't want to use the middle name you will be forced to write this middle name as the parameter because that's what the signature says but it's of no use so what you can do is whatever the thing that you want to avoid you can replace it with a underscore and if you see here that's what the id is showing as the suggestion that is rename to underscore yum name is never used so you can replace this yum name with underscore and basically that will just make your code much more elegant and readable why have a parameter here which you are anyhow not using in the body of the lambda so that's it guys let's meet in the next video with another topic that brings us to the end of this particular video don't forget to like comment share the video and subscribe to the channel take care bye